Hey, thanks for checking out my page. If you're new, I clean rugs. This rug I found on the side of the road. This rug was going to be thrown away, and I thought maybe I could give it a second life. When I put it in my van to bring it to work, the smell was atrocious. I actually had to take it out of the van overnight because it was so bad and I thought it was gonna stick in my van. So right now what you've seen is I've just put water into the rug with a quick scrub and a squeegee. Well, there may be some residual soap from someone trying to clean it uh, in their house, but please stay tuned because this gets much worse. So I'm just gonna rinse all this initial crap away and then I'm gonna put some soap in the rug and scrub it, which is what I'm doing now. And if you can't tell by the stuff that's coming out of this rug, it smelled like low tide at the pier, mixed with a little bit of pee and throwing a dash of sea salt. There were several points where I questioned why I wasn't wearing some kind of respirator. Feel free to publicly shame me for not doing that. So my thought was when I picked this up out of the trash was that I could give it a second life, that maybe I could clean this and somebody would want it. They say it's the thought that counts. Yeah, I don't know about that. There were also several points during this why I questioned why I was doing this, but I just kept on doing it. I guess I'm kind of one of those full commitment guys. Anyway, you're going to see here in a second, there's this point where I flip the rug and I just contemplate life in general. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing anything really? I really don't think you can understand by watching this video just how bad this rug smelled. Maybe this set of squeegeeing will help you understand that. And again, several times questioning myself. Just to give you like a visual in your head, this rug is thinner than a spiral bound school notebook. So there's really nowhere for this dirt to hold. And there's a lot of it. It just kept coming and coming and coming. And I eventually threw in the towel with it and thought maybe it was gonna need a second cleaning, which I did end up doing today. I don't know why I do this stuff to myself sometimes. So this is my last little fresh water rinse uh, and scrub before I roll it up and put it into the centrifuge. And I have some more video of it that I may or may not post as a follow-up. So stay tuned or don't.